So Dan, what do you feel about these Oakley Sutros being on my face right now? Do you think they really look good? Like any pros and cons just looking at them? Robocop, yo. Robocop. I guess I'm the dark skinned Robocop. Let's get to this video, y'all. Hey, y'all, what's up? It's Suevo. Today's video, we're at Santos Trails down in Bellevue, Florida. Today, I have the Oakley Sutros. As far as sight goes, though, I would probably say these glasses are rated like 8 out of 10 or maybe 8.5 out of 10, mainly because I can't wear them at night. I really like shades that, you know, they darken up with the sun, but then they get a little bit more clear as the sun goes down so that you can use two glasses at once without changing the lenses. Other than that, I still think they're pretty good, but that's just my honest opinion. I'd rather have a two in one rather than two different lenses for some type of shades that I really like. about maybe a sub $150 to $200 pair of cycling sunglasses that I bought at my Santos bike shop. And you know, I wanted to give them a try. I really like the look. It's almost like an old school type of aviator type of sunglasses. I really just like the wide look. It really, it really shows off. And it also, it wraps around your face pretty well too. I'm just getting a quick little five to 10 mile bike ride so I can see how does it change the trail to make me see any things that I don't usually see? As far overall, it just has kind of like a, a purple look to it. And the lens, it makes everything that's green look very darker and lighter. You see the cameras, it shows the trees behind me. It shows them in a light green, but it really points out the green big time. So say I see a rider coming down the trail, which I've already seen. I'm able to see them 30 seconds before I even see them. Maybe that's just me, but I really like these glasses. So let's get to it a little bit. I know for a fact, some of y'all are gonna roast me just because I put the straps around the inside. Well, I got a big head and you see glasses like to fall off my head. So nothing I can really do about that. These glasses are pretty good though. When I look to the side, I don't really see the frame which, you know, with a lot of Oakley sunglasses, a lot of people complain about seeing the frames when they look to the side. What I usually just see, I just, it's wide open. But the funniest thing is it wraps around my face so I can't even really tell the difference. They're about three to four inches as in length and height. I'll put the official inches of the height right here. As far as the Oakley site, I've seen four different type of lenses. They have this greenish purple look. They have a yellow one and they have a blue one, and then they also have a clear lens, and they go all for, a, I think it's $70 to be exact for the clear lens, and then all the other, you know, crazy looking lenses, they go for about $90 each. Pretty expensive, but you do get high performance out of a nice looking sunglass that also gets the ladies. So for all you out there that wanna get some girls off with some sunglasses, it just might even work, but it's just like cars. You can't get girls if you don't know how to talk, so the prop is not always gonna help you. If that's just what you're looking for, trying to be cool and all. Yeah, I would say as far as vision goes, I give them a solid, maybe nine out of 10, because I can see a lot more clear. The sun in my eyes, regular, rather than just, you know, seeing with my eyes. So from wearing clear shades for a long period of time, I really like these shades. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows 
Christmas is 